Hi, this is Rich of HouseBarons.com. My brother Dave and I renovate houses, and today we're going to show you how to remove a spiral staircase. This area is a spiral staircase that goes up to our attic level, and we just don't find this to be very functional because there's like no way to get a couch up here or any large furniture. We plan on taking the spiral stairwell out, and we're going to put in a just a standard straight staircase. All right, so this is gonna be the last time going up the spiral. It was, you know, kind of a cool staircase, but just not functional. Okay, so that's it for the spiral staircase. Okay, so we've done a numbering system on the spiral staircase. Whoever buys it will hopefully be able to put it together in the same order. And so we've got support one, support two, support three, and that goes all the way up this main column that's in the center of the whole thing. And then for the steps themselves, the, the treads, we've put the letter T for tread. And this one that's here at the very bottom is T1 and it even says T1 bottom so then the next one up is T2 and T3 and it goes like that all the way to the very top and then over here these spindles since there's so many of them and they're pretty obvious where they go we didn't put any letters on these so the the very bottom one here at the bottom of the landing says one bottom on it and then the next one is two and three and it goes all the way to the very top up to 22. Then on these railings there's actually three pieces on this railing as you go up the stairs. Today we're continuing to dismantle the spiral staircase. And that's what we've done so far. Getting these parts off. We remove those parts. So, this thing's kind of tricky. It's put together with these unusual fasteners, but hopefully, we'll be able to get this disassembled today. That took forever. I finally got the top step up. And now this whole, the rest of the staircase is really wobbly. So this should be pretty fun to get the rest of it. So here is how it looks without the top platform. Let's see I can make the whole staircase shape now. The main support is out at the top. Here's the progress update. The top was brutal, but now that the top is off, we're starting to make a little progress here. So, just got that railing to go, and this bottom third. So, 
So here's what's been removed so far. A big pile of parts. And here's what remains. All right, just about to get the last railing detached. Now we're getting down to it. There's Dave showing up on the works, Dodd. Yeah, like a blister. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Nice uh, job, man. That's well, awesome. We're getting there. Holy camoly. That looks great. It looks really different. Yeah. Nice and that big open space. Though. Yeah, nice and open. Yeah. Here we go down to the last step. Just one to go. Everything has been disassembled. We have this giant hole now in the top of this closet room. The cool thing is now somebody will be able to go up to the attic level just on a normal flight of stairs and mm -hmm. they can carry any kind of furniture up with them that they want so that'll be great so this is how these this closet room looks without a spiral staircase in it all right so here we are in the attic and these are all the pieces that were disassembled from the spiral staircase and Hopefully somebody is going to be able to reassemble it and use it again because it was really a fine, well, well crafted. We definitely hope somebody will be able to use this. It's too nice to just be going to a dumpster. And there's the big cavernous hole that... So now here's all the attic. It's a really large attic with a large, <laughs> a large hole. All right, well that all took a little bit of effort, but uh, the good news is the spiral staircase is completely disassembled. And now in the next video, we're gonna show you how we build a brand new staircase. And that will be very interesting. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please consider subscribing. We're, we have a lot of home renovation how-to videos coming out soon. And uh, if you like the video, please hit the like button. And thank you very much for viewing. We'll see you next time.